Hey guys, welcome to Blazing Guitars, where we talk about worship gear, music, guitar, and everything in between. My name is Blaze Nelson, and today we are taking a look at the Collider from Source Audio, which is a delay and reverb pedal. Before we jump into it, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, thoughts, comments, or concerns, please leave a comment below and I will get back to you. If you'd like to support what I'm doing on the channel, you can do so at Patreon, or if you're already thinking about buying this, you can do so using the link below. It'll be the same price to you, but I get a little bit of a kickback, which is nice. I'm not affiliated with Source Audio in any way, shape, or form, so they're not influencing my review. This is just something that I've had for a couple months, and I've really enjoyed it. It's become a staple on my board. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, let's start out with the nitty gritty on this thing. This is powered by a center negative. It requires 300 milliamps to run, so make sure that you're running enough power to it or you're gonna get a lot of staticky noise. You have a foot switch plug-in on the back and you can select what that foot switch does using this little switch. Or you have this little control input which allows you to plug in some external taps and stuff from Source Audio. You have a MIDI in. You have stereo in and stereo out if you want. If you are using the app, you can use the included eighth inch to quarter inch cable and plug that into input two and then you can manage it with the app, which is pretty sweet. You have reverb on, reverb off, delay on, delay off, and this also functions as a tap tempo, which is kind of nice. And then these controls change based on this knob right here. So this knob, you can set it to the middle to lock all your knobs so that nothing can be changed, which is really nice if you're prone to kick knobs around. Or you can set it to control the delay or the reverb. And then this knob right here, allows you to select the divisions on the tap tempo. So you have quarter note, dotted eighth, or triplets. So let's jump into it. Okay, today I'm gonna to use my Reven Jetstream 390, plug straight into the collider, and from the collider into the Strymon Radium, which I am using my saved patch on. And my dry tone sounds like this. Okay, and let's start with my favorite settings on the collider. So I like a spring reverb which sounds like this. And then I prefer a little bit of a tape echo, like this. Okay, so that's kind of the chord tone that I use for a lot of the songs that I play. Just a little bit of a spring reverb and a little bit of tape delay, kind of always on. And what I didn't know when I first began playing with delay and all these effects is that if you keep kind of a darker delay, so you can hear that my delay is really dark, you can hear that that's not very bright. So what that does is that stays out of the way of your chord tone as you're playing. You can have all these other stuff going on and you can have a lot of it. And if it's darker or brighter than your chord tone, then it'll stay out of the way of your, your guitar tone and make it a little bit easier to play. So let's get into some of the other effects. We'll start with the reverb side. So there's, I'm gonna unlock my knobs and go straight into the room reverb. And let's just kind of set everything like so. Okay, let's look at the hall. Okay, let's look at the true spring. When I was first starting to play guitar, I thought this was talking about like the season spring, and I didn't realize that many early amps actually had springs to create reverb. So when they talk about spring reverb, it's actually talking about that tone from old amplifiers using springs to create reverb. Just a little fun fact that I did not know. Okay, let's go into plate. Okay, let's jump into Shimmer. Okay, and then Electric Dome, E Dome. Okay. 
And then let's look at the swell. Okay, and let's jump over to our delays. So I'm gonna just set this at a nice spring reverb and then we're gonna switch this so that now all the knobs are controlling the delay. So let's start out with the oil can delay. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just turn the feedback down a little bit so we're not oscillating. So you can hear that these two knobs that say control one and control two tend to control the modulation in the reverb and in your delay. All right, let's jump into our reverse delay. It's so easy to get lost in this. All right, next is the tape. Okay, let's jump into our analog delay. An analog delay tends to sound a little bit darker and then digital delay tends to be a very true representation of the original tone. So this is what our analog delay sounds like. Okay, let's go into our digital. Okay, so there you can hear all the different delays and reverbs that this thing has. Now I wanted to show you the Neuro app. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my iPad screen, like so, and I'm gonna open the Neuro app. All right, so we're going to go straight to our collider, click in, and there's a firmware update that I haven't done yet. So I'm gonna click OK. And I actually did a re firmware update just a couple days ago. It was super easy. I just plugged in the USB into my computer, downloaded the computer neuro app, and it was a breeze. I did it in like two minutes. So really easy to do. You have a bunch of different uh, options here. One thing that you can do, which is pretty cool, is you can set, and what you should see is as I'm doing this, you can see that these, these uh, lights will start to change. So you can set different engines. So you can have two delays or two reverbs. So you can use any two reverbs together or any two delays together or a combination of the two, obviously, which is what it's normally set to. So the app just kind of allows you to hack. And instead of going through all the different things that you can do, what I'm gonna do is demo the presets that Source Audio has provided. We're gonna go to Browse. We're going to go to Factory. These are the factory presets. And let's just look at a couple of these. Um, I like the Stop Haunting Me one. So it's already queued up and this is what it sounds like.
characters. Super cool spacey tones. All right, let's try floating on a cloud. Let's look at vintage multi-head. And then they have a bunch of community presets that people can upload which you can browse through and there's tons of them out there which are super cool. One thing that I'm gonna say about this is this is, as I said before, is a tap tempo. But one of the things that I find is often I go to tap in a note if my delay is off and I have to hit it three times, which for whatever reason my brain only hits it twice. So what happens is if it's off like this and I go one, two to tap, it'll turn on quickly and then turn off which is really irritating. So what I would suggest is maybe getting an external tap switch or something to manage it. There's MIDI controllers that you can also buy for this thing. I'm looking at doing that and in the market for that. So hopefully that'll stop being an issue for me. But if you tap three times, three, then it stays on because the first tap counts as the turning on and then the two taps after that are the tap. So just one thing to keep in mind, it's a little bit obnoxious. And then to go through your presets, so you have four presets that are easily reached here. You have to have it off and then you can press and hold to move up and down. So that has to turn off and then you can press and hold to, to switch presets. Which if you're trying to do on the fly and again you have to kind of hold to turn the delay off, which takes a little bit of time and then you have to hold to move back a preset that can be a little bit hard as you're trying to sing or do other things so i'm also looking at getting maybe something that can help me select a little bit faster which they're out there for sure this is a great unit it's just a little bit hard to maneuver without any external taps or uh, switches like that so there you have it guys the source audio collider i hope this video was helpful and showed you a lot of the different options that this has if you have any questions please leave a comment below and i will get back to you otherwise have a great week and we'll talk to you next week thanks for watching